seven days, you know, I think it's seven <laughs> business days because I don't think Samara works on weekends. <laughs> we are, uh, in fact, watching the 2002 uh, film, Japanese form, well, not Japanese. What is it? What is that? Japanese American remake. remake. <laughs> yeah. Of, American uh, remake of the Japanese film. Yeah. The Japanese of, film. Oringu. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a, a pasta sauce there you go. There <laughs> uh, sum- it is. summary for this film a journalist must investigate a mysterious videotape which seems to cause the death of anyone one week to the day after they view it directed by gore verbinski uh who has done a lot of interesting stuff i looked up his imdb credits and Pirates. he did he a lot did, of big movies. Well, yeah. Well, he the thing I thought was the coolest that he did was some like music videos. He did some no effects, bad religion, monster magnet. He also did the 1995 Bud Riser Frog commercial. Uh hey, hey. cool. Uh, he did Mouse yeah. Hunt, the Mexican Pirates of the Caribbean, a bunch of other stuff. Uh, written by Erin Kruger, uh Koji Suzuki, uh, who wrote the novel and Hiroshi Hiroshi Takahashi. Yeah. Who, uh, that who sounds wrote, right. Who wrote the Ringu screen screen prey? Screen prey. <laughs> oh no! It just came oh, out. Are we way. doing this today? Oh, no, I didn't do no. this. No. Oh, I want to hear canceled. it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to cancel. Oh, I can't rewind it. Oh wow! <laughs> we are so sorry. He did a screen prey for Ringu. <laughs> um, right, right. Like, yeah. A priest. Yeah. Cut that part. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it in. I'll put it in nice and clear. It'll be like I'll overdub it. You know, it'll be uh, well, well, or the got screenplay this. for Ringu. Um, Jason, do you have, do you have any information? Uh, uh, tagline: Before you die, you see. Distributed by DreamWorks Pictures and out on Blu-ray through Paramount Pictures. Uh, you know, right off the bat, you know, before the movie even started, I was like, "This is gonna be a wild ride." Because I see PG thirteen, you know, right out the bat, I'm like, foul language, sexual content. Are you kidding me? Smoking, substance use, <laughs> and violence. <laughs> it was wasn't even abuse, just using it. Um, but I really do think that one of the coolest things about this movie is when it came out on VHS originally. Uh, it was kind of like a fucking weird thing. They like you. They, oh, I do own this. I didn't think I own. I it. have I it. Do, I have, to, yep. have it on tape. Do you remember yep. the little trick about it? Like they play at the beginning of it, it played like the video, like so you like mm-hmm. watch the video or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? The, yeah, and yeah. the um the DVD has a like a, a weird Easter egg on the menu uh-huh. that, that that'll play the whole the whole video. And then a phone That's rings cool. in the video too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so it's cool. neat. Mm-hmm. Um but ultimately this movie is not for me. It is uh what I was really bored through most of it uh it was 15 minutes in and i was already tired of the characters uh and the cool stuff that happens in it is kind of akin to a nine inch nails video from the 90s like it just flashes in like here's some trent Reznor shit like it really that's <laughs> that's the vibe that the the video portions have uh and i mean i've talked about it before i don't think ghosts are that scary mainly because like I don't know. I've said that I, th- I feel that ghosts have limitations that are never accurately uh, displayed in a film. <laughs> like here we, here we go. Like you watch any go. real ghost video. Like the worst thing that happens is like, I saw one just today. Woman got pulled out of the bed. I mean, that's about yeah. it. That's the most extreme <laughs> I've seen. You, know, so. and you saw it yesterday. I saw it today on the internet. Oh, uh, Nukes well, top, you Nukes got top, seven days, bro. Nukes top five. Uh, <laughs> check it out. Uh, but yeah, the, the main problem I have with this movie aren't even the ghosts. The ghosts are probably the coolest part about it. It's the pacing and the uh, it's it's so arduous. Like it, uh, I realized after looking at the, her IMDb, I, maybe it's Naomi Watts that I don't like because uh, I've, I looked at her credits and I think the only thing I saw that I liked was St. Vincent uh that she's in uh but i especially <clears throat> I especially don't like a co- uh what's uh Mulholland drive uh there's a couple other ones um the entirety of this in the twin peak series too yeah um but you know the entirety of this film seems like they took like a traditional japanese movie and then tried to infuse elements of i know what you did last summer scream those kind of things even and even had like 
it, I think this movie might have had some influence on It Follows a little bit because of the whole ending of it, like sort of thing. I don't know, uh, and the tape thing and whatever. Uh, but uh, I do enjoy the reveal at the end of what the ring actually is, and uh, the ending is c- kind of cool. Um, but ultimately, I I don't regret waiting this long to see this, uh, and I gave it a four out of ten. I don't, I, don't, I don't think you. I don't think you're too far off. Um, so, it, yeah, supernatural American remake of Ringu. Uh, this is the second viewing, uh, but the first time I've I've seen this since I saw it in theaters. Uh, and I saw when, when I went to the theaters to see it, I'd already seen the original. So I don't think I gave this really a, a fair shot because I definitely went through that stage of life where. I just thought remakes shouldn't exist. They, they should be messing with it. But I don't feel that, that way anymore. Um, but I tried this time, I tried to watch it, pushing every, all my previous thoughts about it to the side and try to watch it like I was watching it for the first time. And uh, production wise, like everything's there. This is really well done. It, it, I was kind of almost a shock how well it was shot like there's some there's some scenes in here and just some shot they're just straight up beautiful um and i like i like the look of it <clears throat> i don't usually like when people use the, the use filters and stuff on the on movies but this bluish gray green looking um it it felt eerie it felt cold it felt it looked wet. dead yeah i like yeah. It, it, there was definitely atmosphere there um sense uh, just like a sense of dread the whole time uh the i thought the acting was solid i think the kid was great uh naomi Naomi watts i don't i don't know if i've seen anything else that she was in but um i I thought she played the part well um but yeah it's just it's kind of boring like not a whole lot happens and i think i don't know maybe i wasn't able to separate myself from the original but that's what that's what asian horror movies do like this, this you can just tell this is an Asian horror movie, but it didn't, it, it left out that Asian weird feeling to it. Like, I think the original is just, it, it's just a lot, I don't even know, darker. It's, it's, I don't know how to say it, it. It's cultural appropriation. <laughs> like, I mean, oh, please. Like, I don't know. I just, like, the, let's, the, so, the, I guess what I think a lot of a lot of Asian horror is like the long hair ghost. That's their figures. that's their ghost style, yeah. So yeah. when I see that on TV, I want it to be an Asian movie. You want it to but, be authentic. Well, yeah. I mean, if we're gonna do it, let's do it. You know what I mean? But I mean, technically, va- like if vampires would be what German expressionism, so that would be appropriation anyway. I, like, I don't know. I I I don't I don't think that's true. <laughs> Oh, I was just joking. I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Anything, don't take anything I say seriously. It's all no, this, was, this was middle of the road for me. I gave it a five. I uh, I went and saw this in the theaters. I hadn't seen um, the Japanese one, so I re- really, really liked this film a lot when I went and saw it. Totally bought the tape, bought it on DVD. Love the Easter egg. Um, that that film crazy up to that point that was one of the craziest things i'd ever seen and it was just so i never saw nothing like it i like how it each part of that came true with as the film went on like she was naomi watts was living out that tape and because you know the final thing you see is the ring that's the very last frame of the tape is well the well but i mean that's the last thing you see and then um I, I really like Naomi Watts. I read on IMDb that Jennifer Conley was considered for this. And I was, and that makes me wonder like what could have been with her. Cause I, I love well, me, Jennifer Conley. Did you ever see that dark water movie she did? I would yeah, imagine but, oh, she that played movie the same way. Sucked. That movie sucked. That's, that's a remake too, right? Yeah. It yeah, should have been uh-huh. really good. I yeah. The ring, the ring <laughs> started off this whole invade this yeah. whole uh remake invasion and then came the grudge and all yeah. that kind of stuff. the eye <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah like mm. i saw i didn't see the the original ringu 
until well after I was into this one. So I watched it and I was like, that's it. Like I felt like America did it better. The, the remake was better. I really liked it. It was creepy. I like Jason already pointed out, love the way it looked. Um, um, uh, who's, who's the dad, Brian, Brian Cox. Uh, he played the, he was only in it for a couple of minutes, but boy, was he effective, especially when he like drops, he just kills himself, you know, spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if you haven't seen it, I mean, there's sequels and all that get on it. <laughs> anyways. Um, the, 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 just the way he was frantic and everything. And that you saw how good it looked. That fucking horse scene was awesome. That was mm-hmm. like one of the coolest scenes in the whole movie on the ferry. Oh yeah, yeah. That was when wild. the horse oh, yeah. escapes, comes out, <laughs> gets sucked under, and and the mm-hmm. blood was just that, oh. was a, that was a great scene. Yeah, it was, and the screams of that horse that was like even uh, just that, the, that yeah, struck me. When, that yeah. struck when she, me, man. When she first walks up, like she was like it, she was able to touch the horse, and then it just it just just a steady incline and just that whole scene just blew up. That was great. Oh yeah. Like it showed the close up of its eye to match the tape. Yep. And then that's know. when everything went nuts and it just yeah. it procedurally got worse and worse and worse <clears throat> and worse. And um, I wish Samara would have been scarier. I guess Ringu did nothing for me. All you saw was her damn eye. I didn't watch any of the sequels, right? Am I am I am I wrong on that? All you see is Samara's eye watched, in the original. I haven't, the I haven't seen the original. She, I don't like that was her I big root. That was Jason's mask removal. You know, that was that yeah. that moment. Um, so that did nothing for me. I really really like this movie. This is Scarlett's favorite horror movie. She loves The Ring. My daughter, she's eight. Mm-hmm. Um, this this ring, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Yeah, she likes it a lot. She wants to watch the sequels. And I'm like, yeah, you're not missing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you're not missing anything, especially the ring too. Ugh. That's what that, my that I, my son sucked. watched. Uh, my son watched Rings by himself. He like he just like picked it out for some reason. He watched the whole thing, and then I was like, well, how was it, man? And he's like, eh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like all right. He didn't. It was like, yeah. It was like he drank a glass of water. He didn't even. It was nothing. <laughs> yeah. And he, he's, he's probably right, but um, I gave this one a uh, I gave this one an eight. I really dug it. It was a good time. It was a really good um, PG thirteen horror movie. Uh, did not rely on blood and gore. Or gave really good chills. Um, very awesome thriller. Uh, what was the other? There was one more thing I wanted to mention, and I totally forget. Ah. It ain't important. It's a good movie. I like it a lot. I yeah, disagree. The, uh, <laughs> I, I, I just said wanna, the. Uh, I guess maybe not even in this version, but and and, and uh, the original that cr- the crawling out of the seat the, the TV, mm-hmm. like that's now an iconic scene. Yeah. Oh yeah, As, especially oh, yeah, for, for people sure. younger than us, like who saw oh, this yeah. movie, like when mm-hmm. they you know. I don't know when they were 16 when it came out or something. I don't know, but right. That, have, that's a, that's an iconic scene. That you have to li- live on through horror forever. Now you have to wonder if mm-hmm. there's at least like, a, like two or three kids in the world that, that saw the scary movie spoof before they saw ran- the ring and just uh, think, what, scary movie three. The, mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 And then yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. From that scary. I think it was scary movie too. Wasn't it? No, it was no, three. three. No, it was hundred yeah. percent three. Yeah. They get all mixed <laughs> together for me. But, was, yeah, like, they're all stupid. Like that's the whole the whole <laughs> the whole old question about like Weird Al songs. If there's people that ever heard the Weird Al song before they heard the original song, right. and they just think that's the Weird shit. <laughs> it like that also tells you like what was in the zeitgeist at the time, like how, like how popular that movie was to have another production literally spoof the shit out of it. Mm. You know. Yeah, like that. Oh, it, it was, was huge. Well, they spoofed yeah. everything. It was screaming most. They did, but like the, in, oh, yeah. the main, a lot of the main plot line in Scary Movie Three. I'm not a historian. I'm not a. I'm not a big guy. <laughs> it's your scary. favorite movie. It is yeah. actually. Sounds it was like written it. by Craig Mazin. He's a very good writer. Um, 
but it's personal yeah. friend. <laughs> yeah, personal <laughs> friend. But like the, the main plot line uh, of Scary Movie Three was pretty much the ring. Yeah. Anyway, I guess you're right. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, because two was more of uh, they were in a mansion. Uh, whatever. I Anyways, haven't seen yeah, the Wayans, Wayans, the Wayans uh, were in the mansion. Yeah. I recommend the first two at least. The second <laughs> one's my favorite. It's got Great. some hilarious stuff with uh with Great, baby. His, uh Chris Elliott and uh um fucking David Cross. <laughs> weird. Uh, grab my tiny hand, it's stronger. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, the first Let me use my That's strong the second hand. One. Second but, one. Well, the I giblets. Shoot, I don't yeah. All the giblets. The first yeah, one was way fail. like really Wayans heavy. The first two are Wayans heavy. Like yeah, they have yeah, Sean amazing. and Marlon in them. But, uh, but anyways, uh, I it's digress. race turn. Yeah, uh, I <laughs> do not. I do not like this film at all. Um, this man. I, I, I'll take that back. There are some things I do like. Let me let me. Oh yeah, who boo me? I'm on your side. <laughs> yeah. Wrong I do, again. I do like uh, <laughs> what you guys have touched on already. Really, I'll run through it. The way it's shot, it looks great. It's got a very '90s, like seven look to it. I like, I like that dirty look. Um, I do also like the actress uh, in it. Um, I forget her name. Or Naomi Watts. Naomi, Naomi Watts. Watts. Um, I have. I like Mulholland Drive, so I, I saw her in that first, but I liked her in this. Um, and the ending, the Frank touched on the ending. I liked, I thought the ending was really good. Uh, here's the rest of the film for me. <laughs> being snooze fest. How many times are you going to watch this fucking tape and tell people to watch the tape and then discover nothing more about the tape? It's ridiculous. It, well, let's, let's make copies of this tape that kills people. Oh, okay. All right. Would it let's have been better that. if it was 20 yeah. minutes long? Yeah, let's do that for 20 minutes of the movie. <laughs> let's spend 10 minutes watching we'll the just tape. Just give everyone again. the tape. Hey, time out, Dave. I'm talking. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you, folks. He's talking. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, see, I fucked my train of thought up. But, yeah, so let's go, let's go into some weird old library and watch it yet again for the third time and slow it way down and see what happens. So let's just... Turn some knobbies, mm-hmm. and oh, that's that's fun to watch. Uh, I'm to <laughs> watching somebody watch something slower. Oh, whoa. bravo! Mm. Great. Uh, did like uh, she pulls the fly out this time around. I get it. I'm like, hey, look, shit comes out of the TV. Hey, hey they tell you early. <laughs> uh, my other favorite thing is Brian Cox. If if he was if that if that part with him wasn't in this movie, I probably would have just gave it a zero and called it a day. But Brian Cox, when he flips out on her, is chasing her around, fantastic. Um, and then he, you know, spoiler, spoiler alert, his demise. The ending of the movie is fun. I like when that she was pulling that fucking shit out of her mouth. That was cool. Uh, mainly because I was going, oh, I don't remember this, but this is way grosser than it looked than than the first time around. Um, I, I remember watching this movie the first time on video and not liking it then too. I, going, <laughs> why is everybody so excited about Consistent. this? I, Consistent. It's boring. Yeah. Uh, but you're right. It, it, in the zeitgeist, as Dave mentioned, is now iconic. So I have to live with the fact that people are going to like this and hold it up and go, Oh, it's genius. Right? It's not really genius. <laughs> uh, but I will give it, I'm with Frank. It's, I guess if you're curious and you've never seen it, it's and you're like, hey, I've seen that girl come out of TV. Where did this all originate? And eh, watch it. Four out of ten. Hmm. Right on. All right, Dave. All right. What you with it? Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Here we go. Frank, Frank mentioned earlier that this was PG-13. Mm-hmm. So in 2002, I was 11, maybe. And the ah. fact that I could go see that movie made all the difference. And oh, yeah, it sure. just became like it was just a thing. Like it mm. became this like, it, it, I, I don't know. It was just like, hey, have you seen The Ring? Have you seen The Ring? And it was like, it was like one of my first like, oh, should I be watching this kind of thing? Mm. Uh, when, yeah. when I went to the theater. All right. Well, that's um, cool. Man. That's a, that's yeah. a good. Thing. Yeah, we were jaded old yeah. men. And yeah. yeah, we were yeah. like, yeah, I, I was I think this out is, of college. This is really, yeah. the one that got me too. And I, I guess 
it's it's a slow movie because it already has a ticking clock. Like you already, they already watched the videotape. You have that seven, that seven days. So there's already some urgency. And then in the middle, you just have this atmosphere. Like that, it, it just looks like a dead movie. And you, so in context of the movie, in co- context of the time, 2002, okay, YouTube wasn't out yet. Like, like the passing of videos, like in the fact that it was such a, like an archaic, like watch this VHS tape. It's I, I don't know. It's just scary in and of itself. The premise. It's not even that you like again to Ray. Yeah, this is a boring movie, but it's the it's you have to you have to sit with it. So in I think they, you in do you have to you have to ride real slow with it. Since yeah. you were so young in two thousand two, Dave, and that was the end of the VHS era, sort of right. Like when yeah. did VHS... I, that was the end phases? Yeah. You know what? Yeah. I learned the other day that the last VHS that was ever produced was David Cronenberg's A History of Violence. That was oh, the yeah. last videotape ever produced. Hmm. Which yeah, is I, just, I wonder. I wonder if when, when you when you saw this, you saw it in the theater, right? Yeah. Were yeah, you like? You know were you like I, I'm why are they the doing? Why are they oh, doing definitely. VHS tapes? Were Were you like questioning the VHS tapes of it, or were you like not at all? Oh, okay. Not not at all because I mean it was still valid. Like everyone, everyone still you know. I'm I'm sure mm-hmm. someone I'm sure every household had a VHF, VHS player. I think it's the yeah. I think the, it's the fact that it's an archaic type of media that it's a little more scary. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's like, hey, have you seen this? Like it's it, it makes it it's like not showing the shark in jaws. Like it's it's like, oh, where where do I get this? How do I find this? You know, it's mm-hmm. uh yeah, and, and like you were saying, Frank, earlier, the, the Trent Reznor shit, like it's mm-hmm. all about the visuals and the atmosphere in this movie. Mm-hmm. All of it, like, like Naomi Watts always obviously gives a great performance, but it's really, it's really like, I, I just remember that one shot with the kid in the closet or the chick in the closet. Oh, we're like Facebook. opening that. Oh, yeah. That was, the, that was the big, like, holy That shit. was a good scare. That yeah. was a good, quick scare. Yeah, it was a jump scare, scary. but it was also disgusting. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. I, I didn't jump. I, I went, oh, that's, oh, man, her face is fucked up. See, I think <laughs> see, well, you got to realize, Ray, we were probably jaded as fuck. Like, yeah. because we, I, the first horror movie I saw was Evil Dead 2 when I was eight. So, like, <laughs> like that really just sets a bar. Of like, yeah. shit. so I saw I saw the Exorcist after that, and I was like, boring. You I know, saw like, Friday the Thirteenth. That know. was my first one. Yeah, yeah but, like, well, sorry. not to say that this movie doesn't have tropes either, because this is completely riding off of Scream. I, I mean, you I think... you look at the two girls in the beginning when they're like almost in like those those white like collared shirts, like it's mm-hmm. set it like it's just that like upper middle class kind of like it it seemed it seems scr- like Scream ish. In the beginning, well, as they set it up, I was like, well, that was actually <laughs> that was an uh, yeah, right? That was an homage yeah. to the um, the Japanese schoolgirl outfits in yeah. Ringu. Oh, okay, that was a callback to that. That's why they were dressed like that. I was like, oh, they just went to private school. That's <laughs> you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, and and we d- we talked about the scary movies too. Uh, that was that was a big part of my childhood. Like all of them, too. Yeah, I was too uh, old for the that. Third, shit. The third one, <laughs> the third one was primary. It was Charlie Sheen. Um, I. You were too old for Dirt scary nasty. movie, John. Yeah. Hang not, on a minute. Not. No. 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 <laughs> I fucking hate the scary movies, man. Uh, They're did garbage. You see one that you enjoy. You like, so you don't like one like, sucked it, ass. That's why I fucking can't stand no, one the was rest awesome. of them. <laughs> no, it was not. One was so stupid. you don't like. Uh, <laughs> dumb comedy. You don't like. Uh, I don't like overly dumb comedy. So you don't like Airplane or uh, Dumb and Dumber. No, I. Okay. Oh wait. Hold on. Like no. Meatballs okay. Maybe too. I like shit that's funny. <laughs> hey, we're, I we're just like shit fun that's funny. Were you just he frustrated? Nah, fuck him? that. I don't yeah. care. I don't care about yeah, all that. Fr- they can make fun. Make fun of whatever. <laughs> make fun of whatever. But like, it wasn't gotcha. funny. It wasn't fucking funny. This is part of uh, Dave's funny. character, John. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I don't know. I used to, to, me, to me, I used to run the funny. third one on loop. I used to run there the third is. one on loop, like because it also like Eight Mile was a big thing at the time. 
they named Miles subplot. It, it was that shit's hilarious, dumb. by the way, too. That it, rap, it yeah. the rap dumb. that uh, what's it's that guy's dumb. name? Who's the guy that does that? He's a comedian. I follow him on YouTube. Oh, fuck. Uh, what? It's dirt nasty. That you it's go. Simon Rex. Yeah. yeah Simon Rex. That's yeah. It. He kicks ass. Yeah, he's Frank. coming. He's gonna be in a twenty four movie next month. Everyone should check it out. Mm. It's called Red Rocket. <laughs> yeah, there's a plug for Simon Rex. Well, Welcome, well dude. what did you give this then? You like um, the score? <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll give it a eight out of ten, Fine. eight or nine. I don't know. This, this movie was just really significant to me as like my adolescence. Oh, uh, I'm surprised I, I it's not a ten. Say, I do want to say mm-hmm. it did win an MTV award for best villain, and that was Samara. Yeah, man. Uh, if, I, if I saw this movie when I was eleven, I would probably be in love with mm-hmm. it. It would probably be yeah. a bad mm-hmm. for me. I probably would too, honestly. Like, yeah. thanks, Ray. I still way, way crazier shit. Especially being able to go to the theater without my parents' yeah. permission. Yeah. Or, yeah. 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 Scary movie. Hang out the mall. Yeah, yeah. See, like, my first movie was Evil Dead 2. Jason, yours was uh, Halloween. Halloween. Randy, what was yours? Friday the 13th. John? Wow. Uh, my first. My first real one was when I was a kid, was probably House. Okay, that's the so, first one I remember. So outside one, of like Gremlins and Thriller, is Thriller scared the shit out of me? <laughs> Michael yeah. Jackson's Thriller when oh, I was little. Absolutely. Well, now that, yeah. that video scared the shit out of me. Would we can we count Gremlins as a horror film? Because I might have saw oh, yeah. that earlier. Yeah, I might have seen. See, my parents. Show. So my parents yeah. said I freaked the fuck out yeah. in the theater, and they had to take me. Well, home. yeah, because. I, you know, watch again, it again, for Gremlins. For Gremlins. Rating. If you watch it through, like I, I put yeah, it on for my Gremlins kids. There's shit. There's shit in. No, there, it wasn't. It's, it's yeah, pretty wild. No, no Gremlins was PG thirteen. PG thirteen didn't come out until until Gremlins Red was Dawn. One of the first one. It was that in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's kids yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well. That's a, all right. Well, so so uh, real quick though, before we wrap this up, Frank, don't we have questions for people? Questions for As, questions. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh who yeah. Yeah. Sending me fucking pictures while I'm trying to watch TV and eat. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Here, let me yeah. share. I'll share the pictures because you yeah. sent them to me. Oh yeah. No. Hey, Dave. Gremlins what? is PG. No. No. I'm looking at IMDb right now. It's freaking <laughs> PG. So, Jason, uh, I was getting these Thank photos <laughs> at the time. All right. I stand corrected. I'm sorry. Yeah, so yeah. I sent the uh, the one with me in a pink filter uh, <laughs> to, back to them. That's funny. I have no idea who this person is, by the way, because I don't have them saved in my phone. So I was like, yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's up with those garbled characters? Yeah, there's getting all this weird shit here. And then so I responded with this, this gentleman uh, asking if I could, they could smell the fear. Uh, then I some more garbled shit, and then just a picture of my eye. <laughs> and then some more garbled shit, and then me uh, doing the uh, I'm gonna hit you in the leg the next time I see you. <laughs> Is that that's what that funny. means? Yeah, yeah, like that, that's gotcha. so. Oh, oh my god, it's such a stupid game. <laughs> oh my Wait, god, you have to you have to put your finger in the hole. Well, you no, no, no. So it. you you make you, you do this them. and you put it below your waist. Oh and no! And you got to get the person game. to look at it. Yeah, but don't you? you have to, the you person have to break, looks at the you hole. Have to break the break the hole before he kicks you in the nuts. If you can do it without looking at it, it's damn near impossible. Yeah, gonna... we do not. Oh, uh, I don't know about that. Nut kicks yeah. is I just it's a ball tap. No, we do not. Yeah, that's too much. It was just two in the arm around you. Younger people take it too too much to the next one. Too far. You guys are like the jack for David. You punch each other in the arm into that jackass shit. I can't imagine Fuck Frank that, going, hey, Randy, I got to in the beanbag chair now because uh, I you fucking looked at that. Um, <laughs> but, but, I want to say one more thing about this movie. No. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Go ahead, go ahead buddy. I'm kidding. It won, go, Dave. It won a, go. It this is your teen, pick. It won a Teen Choice Award for Best Horror Movie. I bet it did. Um, <laughs> and also, okay, the music is Hans Zimmer. Oh Christ! Well, yeah, he's done one thing I don't like. <laughs> this is getting aggressive. The, 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 honestly, the one of the best working composers in Hollywood. I know. Did this for this film, and sometimes you fuck up, man. That happens. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> yeah. 
well. Did you listen to the movie? Sometimes yeah, you fuck up. Oh my gosh. I, I, I bet Randy was pulling a lot of Z's during this yeah, one. I was yeah. I was sitting on the edge of my couch wondering snoring why I waited. Yeah, huh? I said I bet you were snoring loud as hell. No, I honestly wasn't asleep. I, I made mm. myself stay awake because I hadn't seen it for so long. So Ray, I said said, did you at least like the kid? No, I don't like the kid no, either. He doesn't like, like kid? kids in general. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the kid. He's a little he's a little Damien. Just yeah, a little Noah. Well, yeah, he was real tying awesome. His, tying his tie at the funeral. He made me uncomfortable. Getting his mom from ready for the funeral. Yeah, touching his mom like he's about to fuck her was weird. I didn't like it at all. <laughs> okay, yeah, that yeah. was all he right. was weird. Well, before we yeah. wrap up on this, I did post <laughs> this up on TikTok and told people to stitch to it. Only got one guy that did it. I wanted to play his video. This is from Aces and Eights Photography on. Uh, Thank TikTok. you, fan. Um, Thank you, kind <laughs> listener. See here. Yeah. Let me optimize for sound. You got to make sure you can hear it. Oh, no. Ditch to this video your opinions of the ring. I liked it. I, I thought it was a fun film. Uh, had a creep factor going on. The story was pretty cool. Uh, the effects were fun. Um, it was dark. Uh, and anytime you involve a kid and put a kid in danger, that you know the, that adds a little oomph to the story. Um, I thought it was a great, I thought it was a great movie. Uh, I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I, I think that if people <laughs> haven't seen it, they should see it and at least give it a go. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Uh, and I have seen the original, I have seen Ringu, uh, both, both really good movies. Um, you know, and, and I'm not going to get into this, you know, oh, the Americans and well, no, I'm not going to do that. Um, cause I think they're both really good movies. And they're worth a right on. Yeah, there you go. Cool, Spot man. On. Another yeah. another ring fan. There you go. Right on. So that's a little redemption for you. Another one. Now there's three. All right. <laughs> I think there's a lot of people. There. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was apparently on according to IMDb, it was the highest grossing remake of all time. Horror oh, remake. I, of all time. I think it's one it of also better put remake. this like I, remake I thing into into Hollywood's. Mm. Uh, uh, like pocket, you know, it's a now in their wheelhouse. We're like, okay, let's take a bunch of foreign horror films and just readapt them. Some and, of them they should, though, you know. I mean, there's several foreign movies I've seen that I was like, man, I wish that was in English so more people would watch it so I could talk to people about it, mm -hmm. you sure. know. Uh, but yeah, I, I might end up giving Ringu a go then, Jason, if you liked it, it that much. No, I mean, no, listen, I'm not no? saying that was that was a great movie to begin with. I mean, I. I'd probably give that one a seven. Like I like them. Oh. I just bought the arrow box set. Uh -huh. I'm not saying they're amazing, but I, I think, but this is one of the better remakes. Like it's not, it's not too far off from, I'm just saying it, there's just a little bit different feeling to them. If you don't gotcha. like this, I don't think you'll like the original. No, uh, okay. now, now no way. Subtitles. So. Yeah. No, yeah. Then now you got to well, read it. I don't, I don't mind them sometimes, but sometimes I do. Yeah. I'd avoid it. All right. You yeah, like yeah, it, you're, yeah, you're not missing nothing then. 